Both molds are angling AI. Look at those grubs. Oh, I did another round of this color. Okay, and there's round two. Let's start melting. And I like how much action it has, even moving it slow. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the World's Worst Fishing. Thank you so much for being here, taking time out of your day or night to watch me play with color and glitter in my garage. Um, so, really excited about this video. Anytime there are new molds, new things, never before seen on this channel, uh, I'm always like super pumped to film it and show it to you guys. And this video, we're gonna be making skirted grubs, okay? Um, yeah, I'm excited. I've never done anything like that. I've tested, I've like done two, two of them so far. Um, just to kind of make sure that I knew what the process was and how to get the, the two parts together. Um, you know, I had to test out some, some new equipment uh, before filming and uh, I'm super excited about it. We got some new molds from Angling AI, so I think it's gonna be pretty cool to see. Uh, we're gonna get some really cool tank test footage as well. Also, be sure to stay tuned for the end of the video to see this video's color of the day. Okay, and just so that everyone here can know exactly what we're using today, uh, both molds are Angling AI, and this is the 3.5 skirt bait mold, and this is the four inch heart throb hula, I believe is what it's called. Um, so. Anyway, that's what we're doing, and uh, I can't wait to get started. We're probably just going to start with some single color stuff, and, uh, and then we'll move on to some more uh, color blending, multi-color options. Okay, so we're going to start with making grubs first. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to make grub in one color, grubs in another color, grubs in another color, until we have a nice collection of grubs uh, using a few different methods in a few different colors then we'll try to make some skirts to match and then we will show you the proper technique to bond the skirt to the bait and that's probably the biggest takeaway from this video today is the proper method as uh, recommended and instructed by josh and angling ai to weld the skirt to the grub or any other bait that you want to put a skirt on and and in fact just for fun in this video we're going to put some skirts on stuff that you don't normally see skirts on. So we're just going to start uh, with the basics here. We're just going to do a black and blue grub, okay? This, this, this could be a color of the day, but um, yeah, just black pigment, blue flake, and uh, that's all we need. So like I said, we're just going to start with a basic color at first and uh, yeah, see what, these, see what these grubs look like. I think, uh, you know, I, I think anyone who's ever thrown a grub, you know, black with blue flake, green pumpkin, watermelon, things like that are always effective. Okay, black with blue flake grubs, here we go. Yeah, looking good. I love this mold, uh, what, or one of the, I do love this mold, but one of the things I love about it is that you can fill it with very little plastic. So even when you have just a little bit left in your cup, you know, it's, it's one of those molds you can still get another run out of and get, get four more of those bad boys. All right, new mold, y'all know we have to break it in with the old drumsticks. Here we go, drum roll please. Let's see how we did. These are gonna look beautiful. You know, these are the this is the first grub mold I've ever had. I prior to today I had never made a grub or a skirt. Okay, it's gonna come out on that side. Look at that. Yep, little twin tail grubs. Let's kind of single one out here so that we can get a good look. Oops. Yeah. Now the question is, what kind of skirt should we pair that with after a while? Maybe a blue skirt with some flake in it to kind of go with the black and blue theme? Or maybe a blue skirt with some black flake in it? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. I think we'll do blue skirts with black flake. Just kind of do the inverse of it. But yeah, there it is. And later on in the video, we'll be using this hot knife 
to melt you can see my little practice run today to melt our two parts together so yeah this thing is uh pretty neat gets hot really fast and um yeah this right here is the way to go all right i'm excited about this one and y'all should be too i've never made this one on the channel um, but it is a stunner okay so it's yellow and black grape base okay that is the base of it and we're going to add a little bit of this dark watermelon to that yellow side just to kind of brown it up a little bit that way it's not straight yellow it's yellow and green pumpkin yeah look at that isn't that lovely i think we did that i think we did this exact same uh same color right here on the left as part of one of our colors in last uh in our last video as part of a triple injection color yeah and there's our black grape okay all right and now for a few flakes we're just going to do some medium black flake that right there okay over on the yellow side i just totally dropped my spoon and we're back okay and this yellow side needs to be thickened up a little bit so i'm probably going to add some more yellow to it and then on the black grape side we're going to add medium blue okay and medium black grape it's my dad's handwriting he always writes in all uppercase love it i always know it's his handwriting because it looks like nobody else's all right love you dad all right here we go with these laminates lovely did I just say lovey? I meant to say lovely. And why the heck am I using terms like lovely? Shouldn't I be saying, yeah, that's badass. Oh well, gotta be myself on here. Oh my lord. You know what? We're just gonna, we're gonna bring them to you. Here we go. Look at this. Look at those grubs. Oh. Isn't that cool? Just sort of the yellow and the purple. And then look at how they blend in the tail. Look at that. I can't really like, I can't seem to get like a great view of them. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I want one on the yellow side. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Yeah, super cool. Now the question is, what kind of skirt do we put on that? Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to think about that one. But yeah, really awesome color. Um, this right here absolutely owns your creature bait and, and craw mold. So like if, if you've got an ecto craw or a punch craw or, uh, or, or any sort of um, stinger mold, you know, it, it doesn't have to be the AI molds, but any sort of little creature bait, um, give that color right there a try. And uh, I think you will absolutely love your results. You guys guessed it. Here comes the triple injected grub. And you can see we have a few colors lined up back there. We're going to make something good. I don't know. Something. All right. Triple injector time. We're going to go with some Green Pumpkin 109 from Luber Works. Okay. And in the... I guess for the, what do I want to do for the center? Do I want the center to be orange? Or, you know what, we'll, we'll do the bottom orange. That's what we'll do. Bottom color is going to be orange. Or, not necessarily the bottom color, but one of the outside colors is going to be orange. Center color, we're going to stick with yellow. Okay. Looking good. We're going to add just a few drops. Of, drops. Wow, I can't even talk few drops of white just to kind of lighten that orange all right now let's see what we get yeah really can't probably tell on camera the the effect that that has on the orange but that's okay there's our yellow then our green pumpkin all right However, we're going to add some blue 
highlight powder. Now what is, oh that's the white color. We're going to add a little bit of blue highlight powder to the uh, green pumpkin. All right, which always makes a, I mean this is just a killer, um, killer recipe right there. Adding blue highlight powder to green pumpkin, that's kind of how you get that blue crawl um, or mad, you know, magic crawl, whatever they call it. I just call it green pumpkin, but blue highlight. Been doing it for a long time, and it looks good every time. So that's basically the color base that we're going to go with. We're going to add some black flake into each one and just kind of see what that looks like. Okay, I'm confident in my three colors. So we're just going to go ahead and run them. Hopefully, ah, things work out. All right. All right. Here's the here's the big reveal. This is what everyone wants to see is the triple blending block. Yeah. Very cool. Hopefully hopefully those colors will uh, play nice together in the actual mold. Yep. Very cool. All right, show's over. We're not even going to show you the baits. That's it. Look at that. I tell you, I like that orange just by itself. I would be A-OK -okay with, with just that orange grub right there. But let's go ahead. Yeah, you can see the, the triple laminate there in the, in the runner. Let's, let's go ahead and see what they actually look like. Oh, wow. See, in normally, uh, if you've watched videos before where I've done triple colors, <clears throat> um, I'll usually throw in like a dark color in there. So like I like to use blues, yellows, and oranges a lot, things like that. But you can see these are a little bit more like colors. So there's not like a huge just, you know, difference necessarily. That, that pumpkin kind of fades into the yellow, that kind of fades into the orange. There's not that one random just like pop out color. Um, so I, I think that kind of makes this look really natural. And then because there's still another layer to this puzzle, right? We still need a skirt for this. So then you have the option to put that pop color in the skirt, right? Or you could do a double or even triple color skirt on top of this triple color grub. Um, so lots of options here, but I think that's a really good natural base color. And uh, I mean, God, just look at that. You cannot beat triple injection, folks. Well, it has nothing to do with actual grubs, but I did another round of this color and thought that was a cool kind of image, right? All three colors. But uh, anyway, no, we uh, off camera just did did another run of those. Yeah, really cool there. All right, that's it for the grub portion of this video. We have a single, double, and triple color. Um, Ob grub options to uh, play with and uh, we will move on to the skirts but we will have to do that tomorrow getting a little late out here and um, yeah need to kind of call it a night so we will see you guys back here uh, tomorrow and uh, we will make some skirts and put them on these grubs all right welcome back everybody it is a new day and here's what we're going to be running our skirts with. We're going to be using the feather, okay, the feather light blend of dead on plastics in the swim bait jerk bait uh, durometer. You can see hyper buoyant plastic. This is what is uh, known as their floating blend. And uh, I think it will give a little bit more life to the skirts. Um, so anyway, we're going to mix some of this out. And then we're going to run, or, ah, I cannot speak today. We're going to run that first skirt color. Okay, so we have the skirt mold lying down. Okay, everything is shut. And um, what we kind of determined last night is that for the black and blue grub, we would do a blue and black grub, sort of the uh, inverse of it, so to speak. Um, so I think that's what we're going to try. So here we go. What's great about these skirts is that it requires very little plastic to fill. It's kind of like uh, it's kind of like running the bloodline insert and the uh, new eyeball mold. 
you uh, really don't need any plastic to use it. So, for example, if you just wanted to run skirts for an hour, you would get a lot of them just out of this half cup of plastic. And in fact, I don't even know why I measured out that much. But uh, anyway, we're gonna meet you back real quick with the first round of skirts. All right, let's check these out. Oh, maybe let's check them out. Okay, I'm on, there we go. Yeah, isn't that cool? Check those out. Blue with black flake skirts. Isn't that just the neatest thing? All right, so we're going to uh, get one off here. Yeah, they kind of join right there in the middle. There's what they look like. So let me grab one of the black with blue flake grubs and essentially, eh, essentially that's what it's gonna look like. Oh yes. Yeah, once we weld those on, yeah, that's, that's what it's gonna look like right there. Oh, I'm excited, okay. That is awesome. And uh, one thing that Josh at uh, AI <clears throat> um, suggested is that, um, I don't know about other skirt molds, but whenever you use his skirt molds, you know, they have this little kind of tab, right, from the injection port, and um, that's actually where we're gonna be welding uh, the skirts so that the actual front of the bait will be the clean side like that. Is that in focus? Yeah. So the front of the bait will be the clean side, but uh, he recommends that whenever actually picking the skirts up out of the mold that you not pinch that first. In case that plastic is still a little hot, you'll actually kind of dent that and it won't be um, even anymore. So just kind of a little tip there to help clean welds. Um, you don't want to mess up this part uh, too badly. So um, any event, we're going to run a few more of these and then move on. Okay, and there's round two. We only made four of those black and blue grubs. Um, so we're just gonna stick with these four skirts. Okay, so for these grubs right here, for the um, yellow and kind of black, gray, purple, I'm I, what I decided I was gonna do is just try to match the skirts and, uh, and see if the skirt grub laminates. So here we go. All right, I don't think we've done a drum roll on the skirt mold yet. Here we go, drum roll please. Let's see how and if these laminated. Curious, uh, obviously I think both colors will be in there. Oh, wow, okay, so we got one of them to laminate. Look at that. This one did really well. Not sure what happened over here. It just didn't get, it just didn't get very much yellow in it. I think it's such a small margin of error because, because the mold doesn't accept very much plastic because it doesn't take very much. I think if maybe just one side of that block gets there first, the whole thing fills in that one color. So this might actually prove to be very difficult. But if we can get a few more like that, I think we are absolutely golden. Have I mean, oh my God. All right, we're gonna regroup and try to get a few more of these. Ooh, would you look at that. So um, I got both of those to fill. And one thing that I kind of I, I kind of figured out a little trick here. So because the skirt mold um, is such a small cavity and basically the first drop of plastic to get in there is what's going to fill the, the skirt. So if the purple gets there first, right before the yellow, you're going to get all purple, vice versa. So instead of just running the plastic through the blending block, um, what I did was whenever I um, drew up the plastic from the injector, I would obviously put it in the block, but then I would push it a little bit until both colors were coming out. That way I knew both colors were already right there at the front of the blending block, even pressure, and then transferred it to the mold. That way I knew that both colors were already flowing through the nozzle. Okay, and so for our triple injected grub, there it is right there beautiful nice sort of natural crawfish color so for those we did a very simple skirt here we go 
dun 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 straight black and uh my thinking was you know a lot of crawfish because this color right here is what you know i would consider a very natural kind of crawfish pattern you know a lot of crawfish they have those kind of reds yellows oranges and blacks things like that so with this black um and you can see i didn't oversaturate it it's a little bit more kind of charcoal in the um <clears throat> in the in the legs or extremities of it if i can get it kind of flared out you know as you can see golly as you cannot see <laughs> well anyway no i kind of think i kind of think the black will will kind of look okay with that and uh you know because it was you know somewhat of a challenge to get double laminates with the skirts you know i didn't want to waste too much time time trying to like get a triple laminate skirt with these uh, i just figured hey black will work nice and uh and what's great about a mold like this with such a small cavity is that you can just run them right even though it's only two cavity they set up like that so i mean pretty much as soon as you're done cleaning out your injector it's time to demold and you can run the next round of skirts all right, so I have my little $20 Harbor Freight heat gun mounted to the vise. And um, obviously this is a process that you need both hands for. However, this particular heat gun, when you uh, turn it on, you have to hold the switch down for it to stay on, right? So holding the switch, but when you let go, it cuts off. So basically, um, there's kind of two ways to go about it. You can wrap a rubber band around it or some sort of apparatus to keep that trigger held down. However, I don't really think that's how this is intended to be used, so I'm not going to encourage anybody to do that. Basically, I'm gonna turn it up to level five, and I'm just gonna hold it on, okay, for, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute. It gets scalding hot, and that, and that blade stays hot enough that you can continue melting um, baits together for pretty good little while thereafter. So basically what we're gonna do, yeah, you can already see it kind of smoking. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this thing hot and then I'm gonna set the camera up in a way, hopefully that you can see this process. Um, you know, some people use like a soldering gun, soldering iron. Um, this right here is sort of the recommended way to do it. Okay, here we go. Um, I would recommend everybody learn how to do this with gloves on. I have not been all that successful with gloves and uh, this is kind of a weird angle for me to try this. So anyway, I'm not using gloves, so just be sure to be careful at all times. But, but that's all we're doing. We're just melting it, okay? And then just sticking it, sticking it on there. And voila, it is just that simple. You're literally just touching both pieces of plastic together um, on opposite sides of the knife and then just sliding them forward okay so that they line up and it's totally uh, a eyeball thing you just have to practice it a little bit that's the third one i've ever done and you can see it's it's pretty good so it's not something that's going to take you like a lot of time to learn um, but i do think it is something that you can really get into a rhythm with and once you kind of really work out the kinks i think you can uh, really get strong bonds um, every single time so that's pretty much it now let's try it with one of the uh, laminates okay hopefully that uh, person doing yard work in the background doesn't completely squash our audio but here we go again just melting them and there we go just kind of hold them steady and it doesn't take but just a second and there we go Oh, I like that. <laughs> the laminate skirt to match the bait. Yeah. And I tried to line up the yellow side with the yellow side and the purple side with the purple side. So, yeah, that is the proper way to do this. Um, I was not very accurate using gloves because you, you just have to pinch everything. So uh, I, I, think, I think you just have to be really precise. And um, I just could not do it with gloves on. So, um, you know, if you choose to do this, obviously safety first people, if you're not comfortable without gloves, certainly don't take the risk, practice with gloves, but um, it's a really simple process. And I mean, look at the results. That's just, it's absolutely stunning. All right, so now let's uh, just kind of look at some rigging. This is just a little 
what was this? This was like a three sixteenths out, three sixteenths ounce uh, swinging football head jig, and basically, I'm just going to Texas rig this through the nose. Okay, pull it out, pull it down just like any other Texas rig. All right, then push it back up into the bait out the front and skin hook it you know now a lot of people especially up north where this sort of uh presentation is most popular with these grubs you know they're going to rig that with a weedless jig head that's going to have weed guards things like that um this is how i would rig this for like florida fishing around grass um thick you know just we have just so much thick grass you almost can't get away with anything else but uh there it is super cool and now we're going to see what this looks like in a tank test. Okay, welcome to my bathtub. Uh, I'm sure all of y'all were just dying to see it. But let's just kind of see, uh, see how this thing just swims real fast. Oh. It's hard, to, it's hard to get that in focus. You'd be surprised. Look at that. And I like how much action it has even moving it slow. I mean, that is crawling. Now let's get a little bit closer. So... Look at how um, look at how the skirt kind of flares out. You know, um, it wants to it wants to go back to its original position in the mold, which is completely flared out. And so I think that is, <clears throat> um, yeah. Especially look at it from that angle. It's it's completely flared back out again. And um, some of that's um, due to the fact that it's floating plastic. I think that only can help. Um, I certainly think you'll get incredible shots like that um, using whatever plastic you have at home. Um, but that's what's so cool about a soft plastic skirt is that it's always going to flare out like that. Okay, today's color of the day is going to be cotton candy. And yes, of course, we're going to use cotton candy as the color base. No surprise there. However, I like to add a little bit of pink to it, okay? I don't like to use it straight out of the bottle. So we're just gonna add a little bit of pink. Well, you can see that pigment right there has bubbled it up. Yeah, that's a nice shade of cotton candy. Yeah, that right there is looking nice. We're gonna thicken it up a little bit. Just add a few more drops of the, of the base pigment, okay. All right, looking good, looking good. Now what we want to do is add medium black flake and medium blue flake. Okay, and there is our uh, cotton candy right there. We're gonna run it in these uh, six and a half inch um, finesse worms and uh, we'll show those to you just right after this. All right, there it is. Cotton candy finesse worms, beautiful color. And uh, like I said, I like to add a little bit of pink to it. It's not quite that pink by itself. <clears throat> um, but yeah, super cool color. And I like it with just black and blue flake. Makes a really good worm color. I think particularly in a finesse worm. But you know, like with anything in custom lure making, you can make this color in whatever you want. A frog, crawl, swim bait, uh, creature bait. The decision is yours, but cotton candy is today's color of the day. Well, all right, everybody, that's going to wrap this video up. That was a lot of work and a lot of filming. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope y'all are enjoying the color of the day, uh, that kind of little new added segment. Um, I just think it's just one more kind of layer to the videos. Um, so, yeah, hope y'all are enjoying that. Um, as usual, please comment down below which grubs were your favorite, which skirts were your favorite. And uh, wow, what an awesome thing. Um, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with those skirts. We, we might even do a whole video just putting skirts on random stuff uh, just to see what happens. I mean, we can just fire up the hot knife and and just skirt everything together for all I care. So, or, or we can just join random baits together. Who, who knows, that, that might be kind of a fun novelty video. But um, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching The World's Worst Fishing. Comments down below, subscribe, notification bell, all that good stuff and we will catch you next time.